Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration to build a creative habit, one drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. Hey, welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Today I want to do another exercise like last week when we used the negative spaces to draw a bicycle. Today I want to do the same, drawing a hand, and uh, you can draw your own hand or make a photo of your hand or find um, a photo online or draw something completely different. I just want to go over it again, drawing those negative spaces to find the proportions again. And uh, you can just use a pen and maybe add some watercolors afterwards. That's what I will be doing. I just start at the corner where the index finger and the middle finger meet and I see sort of a triangle shape of a negative shape so I will start drawing that and from there I will find the outline of the hand. And then I go back and I find another negative space. I see where the thumb overlaps the finger, so there's a little bit of a curve. And I just follow the line that I see of that finger and follow the curves and the angles, trying to really take notice of the proportions and how um, wide and long the negative shapes between the fingers are. And then I have my basic shape already. Now all I need to do is sort of fill in the gaps, the, the blanks, so to say. And um, I start at the thumb because that's that curve over there and I can follow that. And I have a reference point, which is the knuckle. So that knuckle is my reference point to know where to put my line and where to stop the line that I see. And by looking at reference points, and also looking at the negative shapes within the hand, like the hand palm, it's a negative sh shape as well that's below the thumb. That way I can uh, just go on and uh, fill in the blanks. I'll add some wrinkles that I see and I guess now I'm ready to add a little bit of color because the color will give some extra depth because that will be like the shadows and the shading that I see in the, in the skin. I put a few layers on top of each other, especially the darker bits, that's important. And that way I can easily, with just a few strokes actually, I can easily create more depth and shading. And all I need to do is now let it dry and my drawing's done. So this is just a matter of practice. You just need to practice it a lot, drawing hands. And um, you have your hands always with you, so there's no excuse not to every now and then just pick up your pen and draw your hand. Make it challenging for yourself by, you know, giving it a weird perspective or holding your hand in a very complicated way. So you have to work with complicated shapes. And um, by challenging yourself and practicing a lot, you will get better very, very quick. So I hope you will give this a try. And if you haven't already, sign up for this channel because I don't want you to miss out on my Draw Tip Tuesdays. And then I'll see you next week. Bye now. Bye.